Afternoon everyone, it's Ian from DIY Home Gardening on the allotment this afternoon uh, to do a bit of planting. Care to guess at what the plants are that are behind me? Well, shall I turn the camera around and we'll have a look? Time to start planting dahlias. So I've got my first row in, halfway through the back section, and then it'll be the middle ones. And additionally, I've got to find a home for those. So let's have a quick run through. What I've done is I've actually planted them in a, sort of a colour wave this year. Um, oh, that's my thoughts. So space-wise, got uh, 45 centimetres or 18 inches this way between plants and between here, well, between rows, if you like, um, is then 40 centimetres. Uh, so what's that, 16 inches? Just uh, means that I can then get multiples of three going across. So only stepped in the uh, 20 centimetres from the edge, which is fine because then the plants can encroach onto the pathways side to side and around. So, um, we have Rycroft Jill. Um, oh God, forgotten the name, bear with. Light and soft gleam. Don't know how I could forget really. Why not Jill? Uh, Westers and Harry. Scarfield Jane. Um, Hallmark. Mary's Jamanda. Uh, Cornell. So it's kind of, um, starting with the, uh, well, darker orange if you like, darker orange into orangey peach, definite peach and peach orange pink mix. Um, then we've got bright uh, yellow, white for going into purple, um, or Rooney purple purple, pinky purple. So that'd be on this side. Then there's a couple of extra add-ins this way, just to make the threes. Uh, what do we got? So uh, we got Winhome, uh, Diane, which is another yellow, and Cornell Bronze. So that is sort of a burnt orange, really. Um, that's the bronze version of uh, canal at the far end which is the pink um, so essentially all I'm doing is get my planting done uh, finished finished filling the bed literally this morning um, so what I've done I've done it as same as my other allotment beds as a no dig uh, gravel boards not gravel boards scaffold boards uh, base layer of manure, then cardboard, then with this bed there's about four inches of manure and then topped with soil um, and yeah just going to label up and then uh, what I'll do once they actually take hold and start growing this will then be topped a bit like the potato beds over there with um, a a dressing of uh, some manure uh, also with a, a base feed of fish blood and bone so very crude uh, got me got my spacings as per my tape measure just using a piece of willow with a mark on it so I can get my 20 centimeters in and that gives me my center of hull knock the plant out so this is hallmark get it in so it's going in slightly deeper and um, so these are cutting raised ones whip off those couple of bottom leaves just so you've got reduced potential for um, leaf rot which cause, uh, could cause some issues and then just back filling so obviously if you've got some bigger pieces just break them up this is not the best soil 
uh, but it's it's all right. Uh, we get that in, get it light firm down, and really, I just want to get um, the last of these planted, and then uh, once they're all in, I do a little uh, dressing around each of them with some compost. So let me finish planting. And that's uh, all this bed planted. So you can see the differences. Um, these chunkier ones, they're ones that I've grown but uh, had to start from tuber again this year. And so I'd grown them um, into a three litre spec pot uh, and then they've been planted out. Whereas these other ones, these have come from um, my friend Dave, uh, Dave Gillam Dahlias, and so because uh, he's propagated them from as a well, given to me as cutting, that's why they've come in a nine centimetre pot instead. They've been grown for a long, uh, for a lot less time. So next stage, just get some compost. There's a bit of a, a dressing around the. The neck of the plant and just that's just to give them a bit of uh, extra goodness in there and then also at the same time what we do if we can get to this one just pinch out the tips of the very top and what that's going to do that's going to encourage the plant to produce shoots at the sides and also encourage it to develop some more shoots from below ground, the bit that we've buried, um, and develop some better branching and uh, hopefully encourage the tuber to, to grow and form a few more eyes. So uh, yeah, where they haven't been stopped already, that's, uh, that's the job, take out the tips. So that is all the tops taken out, all the mulching done on that bed. Um, and then I've also planted out the giants as well. So you've got uh, Bryn Turfnell, which is uh, a deep red. Uh, Aggie White, which is not white, but it's a burnt orange. And then Louis White, which is also not white. It's uh, a yellow. Um, but uh, yeah, that is the dahlia beds, or bed plus extra all planted they just now need a very good drink and um wait for them to grow essentially job done and that is it that is planting of my dahlias for 2023 well the allotment dahlias uh, i've got a few other varieties at home um which i'm going to container grow like i did last year but really my whole whole purpose I suppose this year was to get the dahlias planted out up here so that I wouldn't have to have quite so many at home um, as well quite frankly they do take up a lot of space and they dry out much more in containers than when they're planted out uh, but yeah anyway that's that's the planting done if you've got any questions then obviously send them over to me I'll do my very best to answer them for you if you like what I'm doing, then please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out on the future videos I'm doing. And I do always say it, and it is so true, enjoy what you're doing, have fun, and use your gardening time to relax. So, till next time, bye for now.